uh, solve the equation uh, 2 log x minus log into bracket uh, x minus 2 is equal to 2 log 3. So in this question, you are going to apply the rules of, uh, uh, this is uh, the rules of uh, logarithms. And we have three of them. But uh, I've just mentioned where we need to apply each of them uh, where necessary. So we can look at the first part here. We have a rule that says if we have uh, the logarithm of a to power m can be written m as m the logarithm of a. So because now this is uh, and we can if we start with this one we write it as this one. Therefore this one can be written as uh, the logarithm of x squared that is the rule that and actually this is a uh, this is the third row of uh, logarithms uh, we come to the second one the second one will not change so we have the logarithm of x minus 2 uh, which is equals to this other one, we will still apply the same rule. So we we'll say this is the logarithm of uh, 3 squared. So we have applied that rule, which is the third rule. Uh, then uh, this, there is a rule that says, or that uh, where we say that if we have the logarithm of uh, A over B together, this is the same as the logarithm of A minus the logarithm of b so we can use that in this uh, that is to write it in this format and therefore we can say this is the same as the logarithm of we say it is x squared divided by x minus 2 because the sign here is negative uh, which is equal to the logarithm of 3 squared now we can get the anti-logarithm of both sides. Get the argument, it is the same as uh, just uh, canceling the logarithm, getting the anti-logarithm. So we'll be left with uh, x squared, uh, let's correct that, x squared, all this is divided by x minus 2 is equals to 3 squared. So you can now reorganize your uh, equation and you have uh, we can clear this for the space we have uh, already used that uh, so we can say uh, this can be written as uh, x squared is equals to we, mo we cross multiply so it is uh, 3 squared is the same as 9 so it is 9x uh, then we have minus 18 is it uh, that is minus 18 so we bring this my 9x to this side we have x squared the t changes to minus we have a uh, 9x and 18 changes to positive so we have plus 18 is equals to zero this is a quadratic equation and uh, you can use the factorization method and you'll be able to write the factors uh, x minus 6 and uh, we have x minus uh, 3 is equals to zero. If you open this, you'll still be able to get that. So we we'll say x is equals to six, or uh, x is equals to three. And if you substitute x, the value of x, to be six here, you'll be you'll be able to find out they are the same. Or if you subtract three, you still be able to find that they are the same. So that is how you work out that. So if you get to this point, let's uh, go to max wording. If you get to this point, you get a method one. Uh, then when you get to, uh, and if you're able to remove the 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 the, the logarithm, you get uh, another mark, and you get a mark for the answer. This is answer mark. So you get a total of three marks. So that's how you work out that. Uh, about the logarithms.